Have you been having problems with your nest? I might have a solution for you. Stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome back to Jack of All Trades, New Hampshire. We're going to be dealing with something new today and we're gonna deviate away from firewood for just a little bit. Uh, I had an issue last year with my Nest thermostat. Okay, I bought four of these uh, to go in the house and um, I have radiant heat that heats the floors and some baseboards in some of the rooms. And I noticed one of my rooms, uh, the heat would kick on, but it would never go off. And I would eventually have to run down to the basement and do the manual override so that uh, the heat would kick off. And I could not figure out why I had one thermostat that was working incorrectly and the other three were working properly. I actually have an older Nest second gen that I was using as well in the house and it had no problems. None of these thermostats uh, receive external power from anything other than the furnace or boiler. So um, when you have radiant heat, you could have several different ways of using that. It could either be through the floors, uh, it could be through baseboards, it could be through radiators. You could have a fan unit like in a, a workshop that is blowing the hot air from the hot water uh, to, heat the, to heat that place. Um, in my house here, I'll, I'll show you a quick video here uh, of my setup, but I have several channels here that operate the entire house. So go ahead and check this out. All right, what you see here is I have uh, four different channels, four different zones for the house. And over here I have, in the back I have two more. Okay, so six total zones. One zone is for the water heater. This is a boiler system. So my water heater is constantly uh, being heated nonstop with the, uh, the heating oil. So what you might first notice here is, okay, well, the problem is, is, is you have three zones that are working and one zone that's not working. And obviously you have three valves uh, that are exactly the same type, the Erie. Um, I'll put the exact model number up here. And then we have uh, Taco, if that's how it's pronounced. And I'll put the model number up here. And um, the Taco one was the one that wasn't working. Now these other, the Eries, all of them, they're all on Nest thermostats and they work just fine without any external power. The issue here is the taco one would not work and it actually required external power. And so um, I'm gonna show you how I wired it up to, to make it work. And I'm also gonna show you exactly what I used here. Actually the, the wall work that you see right here, I'll put a, uh, a link to that. I think I got it off Amazon. It was, it was pretty cheap, 10, 12 bucks. It solved my problems, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you now how this was wired up. All right, here we go. We've got this thermostat, the Nest E thermostat. I'm gonna pull it off here so I can show you how it is wired. Okay, hopefully you can see that. We have a, a red wire going into R, and then a white wire going into W1. Now this is a heat only house. We do not have central air. So it only comes with two wires. Now these two wires here are from the wall wart. What I've done is I've wired one into the common space, the C, and I have piggybacked the other one off the R. So the red wire and the one wire from the wall wart are in the R. Doesn't matter which one, okay? You can do either either one of the the wires for the wall wart. Something I want to point out here, there's a couple things actually. So these wires come pretend, meaning this is a this is a um, a wire wrap in here, small gauge wire wrap that's loose wires, and they have soldered the end of it to make it to make it hard and easy to insert, okay? You, if you do crimp these wires, you shorten them, which I wouldn't advise, but if you want to, to make it neater, uh, then you're gonna need to re that or it's gonna be a pain to reinstall. Uh, what I did is um, 
I'm gonna end up pushing all the excess wire into the wall anyway, so there's no need for me to do that. Now, some of you might have thermostat wire that has more than just two cables on it. Let's say that your installer had bulk wire that had five or seven wires in it, which is what a lot of, which is what a lot of the uh, more modern thermostats use. Uh, you may be lucky and you might have some wires tucked in here in the sleeve that aren't used. If that's the case, then there's no need to rerun wi re wire through the wall. You can simply just piggyback off some of those wires, make sure you mark them, okay? And then you just need to have one coming to red, and that wire, you remember which wire it is, you go down in your basement or your attic or wherever your unit is, and you make sure that color is attached to one of the wire wart, wall wart wires and the other one is going to common. Now here, if you are not someone who works on electrical equipment and maybe you're concerned about how to work on this, maybe get a professional to do it for you. I can tell you that I'm, I'm careful with this stuff and I'm very familiar with working on electronics. So also, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you shut your unit off before you start messing with the wires. Um, as you could maybe ground something out and cause some problems there with your unit. So just shut everything off before you start working on it to be safe and you'll have no problems. All right, hopefully that quick demonstration was helpful for you. Uh, I do want to emphasize if you do not feel comfortable working on electronic equipment that you probably need to have a professional do it for you. I just wanted to give you my insights that I use to troubleshoot the equipment myself. I've had it working for over a year now, no problems. Uh, I'm going to put links in the description here below uh, to give you some more information on the two valves we talked about and uh, the wall ward as well, if that, if that would be helpful for you. If you'd like to stay tuned for any more updates in the future, please hit that like and that subscribe button down below. Have a good day. Bye.